Well, I think the most pressing issue that the G20 needs to tackle, especially given its mandate, has to do with the threats that we're seeing to globalization at multiple levels and how do we forestall them. Because when we recognize that the world is still not very globalized, that reminds us that there is a lot of untapped potential if we can manage some of the negative side effects of globalization. Obviously, there's a whole change program involved. I think lots of people have cottoned on to the fact that when distributional issues go fundamentally amok, it's hard to maintain popular support for globalization. That's one obvious thing. But a lot of my recent work is actually focused on the fact that a lot of what people are angry about seems to be as much psychosocial as economic. And so things that I've been stressing above and beyond trying to take measures to make sure that there are safety nets have to do with things like reminding people of the facts. People have a tendency to overestimate how globalized the world is. And that, if you're worried about globalization, which leads to all sorts of exaggerated fears. Uh, use rhetoric rather than relying on fancy modeling as the way of convincing people improve informational connectivity and the extent to which people are actually have access to information about other countries because for all the marvels of technology the point is that when you look at news coverage in the US for instance only 21 percent of TV news coverage is foreign half of that involves the US dealing with other countries there is just very little understanding of what's going on and we actually prepare a study with DHL called the Global Connectedness Index. When I take the informational connectedness variable from that study and plot it against self-reported measures of cultural superiority, it's clear the more isolated you are, the more likely you are to consider yourself culturally superior. So I think there are some economic policies that need to be changed, but I also think we need to pay more attention to psychology and social influences than we've been doing so far. The whole point is that there's very little bandwidth being devoted by such a broad cross-section of illustrious people in terms of how to sort of rethink. And the existing organizations that we have, like most existing organizations, have a tendency to keep on plowing the same furrow because that's what we've always done. And it seems, given what's going on around us, there's clearly a need for some new thinking to be injected into some of these deliberations like G20.